Hello everybody, it's me, Get Dave, and it's channel update time, July edition. Still with me, Get Dave. Channel news. We hammered through <laughs> some Dark Souls. I might be done that forever now. Um, because I enjoyed my time playing Dark Souls. And I kind of got into the rhythm of the game and sort of figured out, like, the game people are playing, you know. Because sometimes when you first pick one up and especially with a more difficult one, maybe you're dying a bit more and like, you're not, you're not playing the game. You're learning it, which is quite different, but I sort of figured it out and, uh, started getting the appeal and everything. Um, hit sense fortress. It was pretty difficult. Um, definitely did not seem insurmountable by any stretch actually. But, um, what happened is I took a break and started playing other games and it was, kind of this epiphany of you know you're, you're playing dark souls for 38 episodes and you think like i really like this because it's like interesting and then you go and play another game and you're like oh i'm having much more fun now so I, I i gave it a pretty good shot i might come back to it on some rainy day later but i don't know i i feel like i got what i wanted out of it uh, i don't know let me know in the comment section if that just really gets your goat um we did a brief jaunt through Kirby's Dream Course, which no one asked for or watched. Um, but yeah, it was a fun trip down memory lane. And then Mega Man X4, and then going to lead right into Celeste. So getting some slightly more old school stuff. Basically, we are just killing time until Dragon Quest XI comes out on September 7th, I believe. Which I am slightly excited for. It's kind of been dragon quest 9 does not count 10 was an mmo that only came out in japan so it's been 13 years since a proper dragon quest game came out and i am chuffed to say the least so that's the plan yeah we'll do a little bit of celeste and then probably a couple other ones if you have requests especially for shorter games slip them in there probably the sort that I usually play because every once in a while I get someone who's like why don't you play Halo 3 and it's like oh, I don't really I don't really like it game development news I started a company called Reclamation Games we're working on a video game I think I said I made like a commitment where I was like I'm gonna try it and I shared it I was gonna try to get the first biome level done and uh, skinned basically last month because aside from that it wasn't a super interesting sprint i'll go through we had some music recording and then there's a ton that was like easy piano solo stuff where you only need one musician and it's easy to schedule and all that the mother load is in august but we'll talk about august in a bit there was a little bit of that and then the real emphasis was on a bunch of testing and development in the first biome and i was going to try to get it done i didn't quite succeed at that one big factor was i made a small but significant design change fairly late in the month possibly the last day it might have been on the 31st i decided i wanted to switch a, a high jump ability because for platforming games and there's you know, metroid has some platforming and the game i'm working on has some platforming elements because you know you need to be able to explore a, an environment that has width and height it's two primary dimensions the game is in 3d in terms of like the technical engine, but the, the perspective is largely locked on a 2D plane. So I wanted to change that. Originally, I, I was gonna have high jumping um, because you need to get that good platforming in early and you need to have superhuman jumping to, to make it interesting, basically. Swap that out to a dash. And again, this is all very tentative, but that forced some level design changes. And yeah, I designed, decided that fairly late in the game, by which I mean the month. <laughs> Got to be careful with my slang in this situation. So that's, uh, that's why some things remain a little undone, but I, I, really good progress on the biome. And then a lot of other stuff is stuff that's important that I'm not really going to elaborate on. Like I have one tag, one task that I completed called generalized interaction triggers. I had this programming construct called the interaction trigger which only works specifically and i made a generalized version of it so it can be applied to many things it's super important but not sexy to talk about 
what's much more interesting is the boatload of recording that's happening in August and the enemy design that's happening. I've had a couple enemies that I've you know made, but they've mostly existed for really debug purposes, okay? One enemy called Mr. Sandbag, who Reyna basically just wails on, and we test out things like hit sound effects and box placement detection and that sort of thing. The other enemy is like a, an auto, like a cube that shoots spherical bullets at like various heights so I can test out Reyna receiving attacks at different heights. And, you know, what happens if she gets hit in the legs while she's in the air, you know? So you got to trigger like her falling to the ground rather than just taking damage in midair and then landing normally. So those were just sort of debug enemies. Now I'm working on the first real enemy and that's, and you know, other stuff too, but that's sort of the big interesting thing. Cause again, me telling you that I like made a, you know, a really cool abstraction layer for something, you know, that's, that's not accessible as we say in the biz anyway and, and you know bug fixes and that sort of stuff but level design was the story of the previous sprint again i rarely get as far as i actually want to uh partly because i stretch myself i, I don't know that, that's just how it works but an 80 percent achievement is still really good if, if you're shooting for the moon and you land in the stars not too shabby so that was the story of last month. This month, it's the story of enemies making enemies. We'll see if I have anything interesting, anything else interesting on the backlog. We'll load it really quickly. Yeah, some gameplay stuff. I know I say this all the time. I think I've mentioned this in like four or five other videos, but I am tweaking the, the movement and the combos one more time. Basically, I, I played Celeste and... Anytime I play a video game and I think, hey, those controls are better, those feel better than my game, I modify my game to catch up with them. And I have previously said, like I use Mega Man X as an example a lot, where you have Mega Man X1, which has a very smooth dash. And if you do a dash jump, there's a, there's a smooth rhythm to it. And if you play like Mega Man X6, yeah, it's much more quantized, it's chunkier. And it, it, I would describe it as punchy but it's not smooth. The way the sound effects change, the way the timing of all the inputs change, the way um, the animations are timed, and the way even just Mega Man moves, it's a little bit different. It's punchier, but it's not smooth anymore. And I used to think those were mutually exclusive, and then I played Celeste, and that dash is smooth and punchy. And so it's like, all right, back to my game because anytime I play a game, it's I have to make the controls feel better than that. If you are interested in the creative projects, the Let's Plays or the game design going on on the channel and you want to support it, doing so on Patreon is a way to make it happen. There's other avenues too. If you do YouTube Red and just watch the videos, that does it. If you let the ads play, that just does it. Um, if you just comment, like just be part of the community, that helps too. Anyway, those are the mechanisms of supporting the channel buy the game when it comes out. You can do that if you feel so inclined. There's no special reward. I don't gate any content. I don't believe in gating content on people just because they're poor. And thank you so much, everyone. Let me know if you have any uh, tiny requests until Dragon Quest XI comes out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next Let's Play.